Good morning, students. Today I am going to explain about family Rosaceae. This family includes about 115 genera and 3,200 species. Distribution: Plants belonging to this family are cosmopolitan. That means found all over the world. Mostly found in the temperate and colder region. Vegetative character, plant habit, mostly trees, few shrubs and rarely herbs. Roots are fibrous, tap root, branched and it is branched. Leaf are simple or compound, alternate, petiolate and stipulate stipules means an outgrowth typically born on both sides of the base of leaf stalk next is floral characters uh, here the inflorescence it could be racemose racemose means the central axis or the peduncle continue to grow and the flower are stalked laterally in an acro petalous order or acropetal order cymose a typical uh, type of flowering shoot in which the first formed flower developed from the growing region at the top of the flower stalk uh, that usually if in simple word it is like a definite uh, definite inflorescence then coming to the solitary flower or it could be inflorescence it could be a solitary flower a flower that uh, it is not a part of inflorescence and its stalk is also referred to as peduncle so solitary flower is a flower that is not part of an inflorescence and its stalk is also referred to as peduncle flowers flowers are complete actinomorphic complete means all the whorls are present actinomorphic hermaphrodite hermaphrodite means bisexual regular bracteate hypogynous hypogynous means the perianth and stamens are attached to the receptacles below the gynecium ovary is superior to the um, i mean ovary is superior to these organs and the remaining floral organs arise from the below point of origin of carpels example for hypogynous is fragaria then perigynous or it could be perigynous flower could be either hypogynous or it could be perigynous perigynous means the hypanthium hypanthium means a cup like or tubular enlargement of the receptacle of the flower loosely surrounding the gynecium or united with it so hypanthium perianth consists of a um, i mean perigynous in which hypanthium um, a floral tube formed from the fusion of stamens petals and sepals is attached to the receptacle below the gynecium and surrounded by the ovary epigynous in case of epigynous uh, flower the hypanthium is fused to gynecium and the free part of sepals petals and stamens appear to be attached to the top of the gynecium as in the apple ovary is inferior the um, the petals and uh, stem sepals and stamens are calyx calyx consists of five sepals gamosepalous and green in color coming to the corolla if you take an example of rose it consists of either five or numerous petals polypetalous that means they are not fused petals are not fused and it is colored brightly colored 
in case of andrisium stamens are five or numerous and length of the stamens are unequal then uh, uh, and it is free gynesium it could be one or many syncarpus by or multilocular axial placentation fruit pom or droop or akene as i said fruit could be pom that means they have a core of several seeds and uh, surrounded by a tough membrane the membrane is encased in an edible layer of flesh example is apple see in apple we will see uh, in the core there will be several seeds surrounded by a tough membrane the membrane is encased in a edible layer of flesh outer layer edible layer will be there no that's why uh, example for poem is apple then droop droop is prunes example for droop is prunes here um, it is an indehiscent fruit in which an outer fleshy part surround a single shell of hard is uh, i mean hardened endocarp with seeds inside these fruits usually develop from single uh, carpel and mostly from uh, mostly form flowers with superior ovaries so um, example for droop is prunes then akenes or follicles uh, example is strawberry here uh, an akin is a type of simple dry fruit produced by many plants they are monocarpellate and indehiscent seeds uh, coming to the seeds are exalbuminous means seeds which store food material in their cotyledon are called non endospermic or exalbuminous seeds with small embryo then pollination is through insects here you can see the insect no so since these flowers are attractive just imagine um, rose and uh, they are quite attractive and even the smell is also so pleasant obviously um, pollination is through insects economic importance some of the plants of rosaceae family is used as a source of food example is pyrus communis prunus persica and some plants of rosaceae family are also used in medicine example is the petals of rosa domacina is used for uh, for the formation of uh, i mean it is used in the preparation of gulkand the seeds of prunus amygdalus is used as tonic ornamentals uh, examples for ornamental plants are uh, ornamental plants which comes under rosaceae family are rosa indica and rosa domacina industrial use oils of roses obtained from the petals of rosa domacina which is used in perfumery and uh, bark of quailaja saponaria is used in the preparing is used in preparing shampoos now just to sum up salient features of rosaceae family first is uh, the shrub with prickles leaves are simple or compound if it is compound it is pinnately compound leaves that means a leaf which is divided into smaller leaflet those leaflets arranged on either sides of the leaves central axis either side of the leaves central stalk 
that means ratchets or the axis alternate stipulate flowers are actinomorphic very rarely we can see zygomorphic flowers also hypo peri or epigynous calyx gamosepalous mm, that means fused sepals five in number Sep petals are five or more or indefinite in case of rose and uh, usually petals are polypetalous <coughs> stamens indefinite and unequal in length corpels one or many apo or syncarpus situated on the solen receptacle fruits are collection of akins droop or pome